This is a beginner's guide to the App Store and apps. What they're for, how you can get them, and how you can use them. Apple provides a number of apps that are built in, but there are hundreds of thousands in the App Store, and some of them will certainly be of use to you. It works exactly the same on an iPhone. You'll need your Apple ID, which you would have got when you started your iPhone or iPad. Here's how you check up. Click on Settings, then scroll down a little way, and then click on iTunes and App Store. You should then see your Apple ID, which is an email address. Click on that, and then you can start managing your account. Click View Apple ID, and you'll be asked for your password. Now, if you've forgotten that, you can go down here and click I forgot, and you'll have your password reset. And then you can click on the Apple ID, and then select Payments to see how it's set up. This is an iPhone view. Most people use a credit card, but you can also use a prepaid card. You can get an iTunes card from a store and enter the number on the back of that in this space and debit your card. If you want to use a different email for your Apple ID, you can go ahead and create a new Apple ID and use that one. You only have to set up the account once, then you can go and explore the hundreds of thousands of apps in the App Store. It's probably quite confusing in the beginning because you're confronted with a screen like this. But look down the bottom and you can view Featured, Top of Charts and explore the categories. But probably the most useful way to sort through all these apps is to go to the search box up the top and then put in keywords. If you choose chess, you'll get dozens of responses with the most popular ones uh, up front. Get here means that this one is free. This one is ready to be downloaded. That means that on this iPad, it must have already been downloaded previously, so it can be downloaded again for free because you've already purchased it or acquired it. Down here, there's a, a free version of these two and if you really like it you can come back and get the $12.99 version which has a lot of extra features. If you click on each app you can get a lot more details about it and what it does and most valuably you can click on the review section and get an idea of what other customers have thought of it. When you choose to get an app you'll be asked to put in your Apple ID and then you can download it. And of course, this Apple ID gives you access to a huge range of other Apple products, music, movies, TV, and audiobooks. With apps that you've chosen, you can make your iPad and iPhone much more entertaining and productive.